Yo, why they saying Jermo Charlo, the boxer, pulled up to Wallow and Gilly acting like Birdman? I'm shocked. One, I just finished saying a couple days ago, yo, a lot of platforms play with a lot of shit. We were talking about that Brittany Renner thing. A lot of people play with different stuff to go viral. I feel like one platform people won't pull up and test them is Gilly and Wallow's million dollars worth the game. Well, it looks like that only lasted for so long. Let's see what he said. They said he pulled up there acting like Birdman, talking about disrespect and shit. Like, what did they say about this man? And why did he go up there? So strong arm and everyone. I heard y'all was talking shit about me. Who? I have to pull up over here. Who was talking shit? Y'all. What, 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 what we say? I don't know. About Let's Charla. Get into the conversation. What y'all said about Charla? What we say about Charla? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you, oh, and, you, 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 yeah. Hey, yo, back, Terrence back. and all y'all was talking some shit about. No, 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 no. And so he pulled up already, trying to get straight to the bottom of it. Like the worst thing though is when somebody says, "What did we say?" And you say, "I don't know." Like, nah, bro, you gotta do your homework. Don't just pull up somewhere on some crazy shit. You gotta do your homework. What happened? What did they say? They said whoever told you about the shit. Why didn't they tell you what they said? That is the most important thing to get. So you could have called it out, and then y'all could talk about it. No, Terrence, mm -hmm. Terrence was yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at oh, face. Terrence said what he said. But if we said anything, we gonna stand on that shit. Damn. Wait, we gonna wait, stand. Wait, so, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. whoever told you yeah. ain't tell you nothing right. Cause we gonna stand. Cause I'm, I'm the one that sat here and I tell a motherfucker. And I, it ain't that I'm a boxing historian. But I say, I don't think you could do this. And y'all don't think you could do that. He was here when I told Earl. I said, Earl, I don't think you could beat Terrence because you wear too much drip, man. Terrence look like he be somewhere lifting cows and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I stood on that shit right there. With, so I'm, we gonna stand on this shit. Yeah, yeah. And I bet money on Earl. Yeah, yeah, me too. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna. 20 bands on it. Mm -hmm. That's a big loss right there. I never lost 20 bands in my entire gambling career. Me losing $20 be having me sweating shit, talking about going to rehab for sports gambling. Nigga said 20 bands. Y'all better, whew. That boy better put me on watch. Y'all boys better lock the doors and make sure I don't leave the apartment. I lose 20 bands on some sports gambling. I ain't gonna leave <laughs> down. So, you know, I, yeah. I, I don't never remember. And the way that Earl Spence got his ass whooped, oh my God. Imagine having 20 bands on that fight and just seeing that. By round two, you know you lost your money. But saying nothing about Jamel Charlo. Oh. You gotta, you gotta refresh in my memory. I, I don't know, man. I thought y'all was just some Terrence. Uh, I thought I seen something. I gotta check back in with my boy. Yeah, oh, see, see, oh, see, yeah, wrong. Yeah, see, yeah, somebody yeah. told you something wrong. Damn, you see, now you go up there and you look crazy. You said all this. I thought I heard. I thought this. I thought that. And now when they ask you, what did we say? Refresh our memory. I don't know. I thought I saw something. Nah, you can't do that. Nah, you can't do that. I didn't watch the episode with them and Terrence. So if you guys happen to see it and they did say something about Charlo, let me know down below what was said. It couldn't be so serious because one, it didn't go viral. Two, he doesn't even know what they said about him and he thought he saw something so it couldn't have been that serious you was better off keeping it inside you probably felt some way about it but wasn't sure what you said or someone told you some shit and it just went through one ear and out the other but you remember that they said that they talked some shit there has to be a story behind this this makes no sense how you pull up and don't even know what somebody said about you and you're trying to question them what did they say let me know down below you think charlo was in the right or he was in the wrong i'm gonna say i think he was in the wrong in this one if you're gonna go to someone and accuse anyone of speaking about you saying something about you you gotta get the information correctly what was said so you guys can speak about it and address the actual allegation and if it was that they think you're gonna lose in a fight they're in the right to have their personal opinion about who they think is gonna win who they think is gonna bet these or who they think is gonna win who they think is gonna lose these guys are gambling money talking about stuff and yet again we just said this with cardi b talking about joe budden when we watch these people we want their honest opinion why we go and tune in when something drops and we hear that they react to it or they speak about it like oh let's go see what they say because we want to know their honest opinion we don't want to hear them being saying the same maybe he can win maybe he can lose i don't know they're both great at their sport let's see what happens we don't want to hear that shit let me know down below i think he was in the wrong i think he was in the wrong if you're gonna pull up you gotta do your homework bro you gotta do your homework here what was said then you pull up and you press about it if you don't like what was said but while you're in the comment section sharing how you thought about how you feel about this and your thoughts like the video subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers